welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will talk about the battery internal resistance. A battery is not a simple voltage source, but it is also a resistor. It has an internal resistance that depends on several factors, mainly on the chemistry of the battery. An alkaline battery has a different internal resistance than a zinc carbon battery or a lithium ion battery or a lead acid battery. Every chemistry has its own internal resistance and also depends on the size of the battery. For example, here I have two alkaline batteries, but the small battery has a much higher internal resistance than the larger battery. Also, for the same battery, the internal resistance is not constant. It depends on several factors. For example, depends on the temperature, on the state of charge of the battery. A fresh battery has a lower internal resistance than a battery that it is almost depleted. Also, for a rechargeable battery, the internal resistance depends on the age of the battery. A new battery has a low internal resistance and a battery that has had many charge-discharge cycles will have a larger internal resistance. How can we measure internal resistance? Well, for this video, I will use this commercial meter. It is specifically for internal resistance measuring, but you can also do it with your multimeter and a small value resistor and applying ohms law. I have a video on that that I made some time ago. I will put the link in the description of this video. First, let's see the effect on the size of the battery. Here I have these two batteries. They are the same brand. Both are new batteries, but one is larger than the other. Double A and triple A battery. Let's measure first the internal resistance of the small one. Let's see. We have 110 milliohms. And now the double A, which is larger. And here we have 75 milliohms. As you can see, the larger battery has a much smaller internal resistance. Remember that we say that the type of chemistry also affects the internal resistance. So here I have the alkaline battery and here I have a zinc carbon battery. Both are double A size. And remember this is around 110 milliohms. And let's compare with the other battery. We are out of range. I have here a maximum of 200 milliohms. Let's change to the 2 ohm range. Let me. Okay, there it is. 0.41 ohms. That is, the resistance is much larger here. We have 0.11 ohms and 0.41 ohms for the zinc carbon battery. Why is this important? Well, because the maximum current that a battery can give you depends on the internal resistance. Remember that because of ohm's law, Current is voltage divided by resistance. So the larger the resistance, the smaller the current. So this alkaline battery should give you more current than a zinc carbon battery. And for example, this monster lithium battery, it is uh, advertised as having a current, a maximum current of 200 amps. Therefore, it should have a very small internal resistance. Let's measure it. Okay, let's see.
it is only 2.04 milliohms. Indeed, very low internal resistance, therefore very large maximum current. Let's compare the current that you can get from a low resistance alkaline battery in comparison with a high resistance zinc carbon battery. Both are double A size. So let's check first the alkaline battery. It can give you seven amps and the zinc carbon battery 2.3 amps that is you can get three times the current from the low resistance battery so as you can see the internal resistance of batteries is an important parameter that it is good to know hope you liked the video thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one